40s in the Northwestern Railway. The story of Reginald. On the island of Sodor, there is a little, little tankage. But it wasn't Thomas, though. His name was Reginald. A numberless blue tank engine that looked exactly like Thomas. Reginald was a personal good a personal goods train. So he collected goods from the Yankees. Years later, he was officially brought by the top pack with the official engines on Sony. Reginald's job participation in the lead mines. Reginald was hired by the people in the lead mines. It worked as a mining company. But years later, the mines had to be closed due to the mine collapse. But Reginald kept on working, still suspicious of why the mines collapsed. But then Reginald guessed as he saw a paper on the ground. Hey driver, what's this? Reginald's driver read the paper and it said, the Sodor's news closed mines leave 60 people without work. Unbannerized plans. Unemployment in the secret of the mines. After many debates ab about what to do with Nefert's lead mines, the Olsted Mining Co. has decided to permanently close it, close its operations. This was decided due to the poor conditions its tunnels held after its collapse in 1993, leaving many minor miners working under unhealthy and dangerous health conditions, according to the Minister of Health and the public definer of workers. It is unknown if the company will rehire its old workers in the Austin mines. And it's unknown if the land will be used for future projects. May doubt whether the collapse will be related to the mayor's plan, the new era of Nefer. A massive real estate project that seeks to expand the city onto an urban scale, in which is the much criticized Nefer Central. Hotel, the famous 40 story skyscraper, which many mention completely breaks the ritual of the city. In the topic of mines and collapse, many obscure objects have appeared after the cleaning of the tunnel. The most two interesting being two steam locomotives from the beginning of the 2000th century. Closely resembling engines, no, number one and number four of the Northwestern Railway. After consulting the director of the railway, it was clarified that there are no records of these two engines have be belonged to the railway. And that although they resemble those already mentioned, they do not have any type of legal relationship. It is unknown what will be done to, with these engines. Many asked to include them in the, Na in the Biggerstown Railway Museum as part of the history of Soto. Although first their origins will have to be ex inspected and see if they are related to any company prior to the Northwestern Railway. Reginald had thought me and Gordon had 
died. So he sadly puffed on. Unknowingly that uh, uh, me, Thomas, had been rebuilt again. But well before Reginald could puff out the, the mines, he looked up the gas. What the? There in front of him stand a man. You knew too much of it. We must keep you um, silent so you won't tell the others what happened. The man pulled out a screwdriver. The mysterious man kicked Reginald's driver off the cab, messed up Reginald's control, and led him into the into a derailment. What do you mean I knew too much? said Reginald. Well, that newspaper was supposed to be secret, but we decided to keep it there until you found it. Out that we hit it there. We know you were going to tell the engines that would happen. And we did not want the fact director to know we were up to this. So you'll be staying here for a long time. Wait, what do you mean? With that, the man walked away. But then suddenly, Reginald saw the mysterious man pull up something in front of his driver <laughs> and what the hey you don't have to do this but then the mysterious man shot Reginald's driver opened up his eyes and saw a knife in his hand. Wait, don't kill my... Driver. The mysterious man soon walked up to the newspaper and took it. And with that, the mysterious man walked away from the mines. Now without Reginald's driver, Reginald couldn't move. Reginald had to stay there the whole entire time. Soon, Reginald started to rust up. Reginald had rusted up in the hot sun. It was a few years after what had happened. Thomas was going to the lead mines. Thomas was puffing along the rails until his driver spotted something. Wait, Thomas, stop. Go back. What happened, driver? said Thomas. I see like a cab in the water. Thomas' driver wanted to go discover it. Thomas' driver gasped as he saw the engine that was a long time ago, Reginald. Thomas's driver told Thomas and he was shocked. Dr Thomas's driver got the engine out the water thanks to a rope. But Thomas and his driver knew it was already too late to save the engine. Thomas broke into sadness as soon as he figured out that it was an E2 class. And that's how every day at Nafford Sheds, when the engines would puff out the sheds, they would see a scrapped E2 right next to Gordon's ditch. Not knowing that this engine was Reginald.